Hello, my name is Mikey and I have purchased recently the DJI FPV drone. Um, I've been drying, flying drones for about 15 years now and this is uh, not my first FPV drone. Um, my other ones were pesto ones that I personally built. Uh, this is my first FPV drone from DJI. I've had multiple DJI products. Um, the rest of them were all cinema type drones. Um, DJI FPV drone is more of a entrance into the FPV world with the goggles. Um, this complete combo kit that gets you going. But I wanted to hit it, touch base on a couple things that I thought were very important to purchase when you first get your drone because you're going to need it. Um, getting into the FPV, I'm trying to fly a little faster, getting you know a little closer to different objects, you know, make the scene look a little better. It does record in great video quality. Um, but some of the accessories, I kind of had to, okay, I need to get this, I need to get this, you know, later on. Um, so I thought I'd put together a video for anybody that was interested in getting the DJI FPV drone and what accessories to go ahead and get with it because you're going to need them. Um, first, I'd like to go ahead and tell you the combo that I got is the Fly More Kit combo. That comes with the drone itself, it comes with the standard controller, and it comes with two extra additional of the flight batteries. And also a special adapter for the charger so that you can charge three at the same time. Now they won't actually uh, charge all three at exactly the same time. It does one, then it goes to the next, then it goes to the next. So you will have to uh, wait for all three of them to eventually charge. But you don't have to go over there and unplug one, plug another one in, and so forth and so on. So that'll get you the Fly More Kit with the extra batteries. Um, the next thing I recommend, when I first got it, I'm so used to flying with two sticks um, on the controller here that, you know, I didn't think a different controller would be necessary or if it'd be any more fun or if it'd be easier because, you know, I'm so used to flying with these sticks on a controller like this. But the motion controller wound up being a more natural way to fly it. So instead of me thinking, okay, I've got to move two different sticks, with the motion controller, you literally just fly it like you're in an airplane. Pull back to go up, push forward to go down, tilt left, tilt right, and it'll be like an airplane. The trigger is your accelerator. Um, it's made it a lot faster. I can do quicker responses instead of, you know, even after 15 years of flying, I still sometimes get a little twisted in my head as to where I need to move the sticks. But with the motion controller, it's just, it's like driving a car. You turn the steering wheel and it turns. So the motion controller, at first, I didn't, I, I really didn't think that I'd like it, but I actually like it better. Um, when I'm just grab, grabbing minimum stuff to fit on my motorcycle, what I need to fly, I leave this at home and I take my motion controller with me. I mean, it's, it's, it, just, it just works naturally. Um, so I definitely would recommend that. Um, I've also, uh, the goggles have the ability of holding an SD card. So if something happens to your drone, you have backup footage. But I would still put an SD card also in the drone because that's going to get you the highest quality video. Also, if there's any kind of haze from the signal, you know, this would catch that in the SD card. But the SD card in the drone would be the, the, the footage directly from the camera. Um, so you wouldn't have to worry about it like buzzing out at all if ever it went out of range. It would it would be just a nice flow of a movie uh, that you can get off that drone. So definitely get you two of the micro SD cards. Um, the next thing I'd recommend is is propeller guards. I have gone through a lot of propellers just going by and nicking things, and it doesn't take very much. But you can see all of my propellers that I have messed up by hitting things. <laughs> And they get chewed up pretty good. That's right there. So get you some propeller guards, especially you know when you, if you're new to FPV or if you're you're just you know to get used to this, go and get you the propeller guards, and it will save your props from bumping into just nicking things because you're trying to cut it as close as you can, as fast as you can, get that awesome footage, and it that excitement, that thrill, you're you're going to hit some things. So this will will save your drone. Um, also, at one point in time, 
I broke the front right arm on the drum. And that was a lot to take apart, run the wires, had to solder onto the board. But these, if this was on it at that time, I wouldn't have had to replace all that and go through all that hard work and the cost of this arm. The cost of these are a lot cheaper. So it definitely gets you some propeller guards, get you started used to it. Um, the next thing is when you run into things, you may break the camera gimbal. You see it's got a little click right there now. Uh, I had to replace the camera in my drone. If I would have had this little bumper guard right here, not very expensive, but it protects that gimbal from getting damaged. So you can see here, I can take off the cover here. There's the camera free floating right there on the gimbal. And here's the protector that's going to protect anything. Um, I wound up hitting a road sign that broke that first camera. So I've had to replace the camera on that already. Um, but this little bumper guard would definitely help. It's very easy to install. Um, next thing I would definitely recommend is the goggles come with this really long cord. So you're supposed to take the battery to the goggles and I guess put it in your pocket and then run this long cord up your side and plug it in. There's an adapter that comes with a little holster here that clips on the back of the, of the uh, head strap and a little short cord that will go plug into that. So that way you're not having a cord to run all the way down uh, to go to your battery when you know your battery can just be on the back of your head. It kind of helps even out the weight of it too a little bit. So it puts a little bit of weight on the back there for you, keeps it down. Um, so that's definitely very convenient to have your battery just on the back of your head where you can just hit it right there. You don't get all tangled up in that mess. Um, another thing is these goggles Inside here, these are lenses that are, are magnification lenses here. So it makes the screen look bigger than it really is inside there. But that would also turn into like a kid with a microscope out there burning ants. Um, it can burn the screen inside there. So whenever I pack my goggles away, I always put this little blocker right here, this little sunshade. I put it in there and that way if I get to where I'm going and I'm going to fly and I'm pulling out my goggles and I set them out so I can put everything together, I don't have to worry about, oh, is the sun going to cook my screen in a matter of seconds, just facing it toward the sun. So I keep this on it until I'm ready to go fly. It also holds the antennas. It's got these four little antennas that screw on here. And you're just able to, to just grab them out and screw them on so everything's together still. You don't have to worry about them being, you know, separate, lost, or anything like that. And this guy's on here. And this should go on here. So you can see the sunshade does protect my goggles while I'm sitting here screwing on. If I had the sun over me and I'm sitting here screwing these on, I could be sitting there cooking my lenses. But because I have the sunshade, now that I know I'm ready to put it on, I take the sunshade out and I keep it pointed down as I put them on, um, making sure that I don't burn out my lenses, my, uh, the screens in there. Um, the next thing that I would definitely get is a good carrying case that can carry everything. Um, this case is great. The only thing is, is with the uh, the guards, the propeller guards. The drone does not fit in here with the propeller guards and the propeller on. But the propeller guards snap on pretty easily, and the the propellers themselves, uh, they they snap on without any tools needed. Um, so it just takes you a little bit longer to put it, take it all apart, and put it all back together. But with this case here, I'm able to fit everything: the goggles, the motion controller, extra batteries. Uh, extra propellers, you know, all that fits in here and zips up in a nice little case. It's all protected, well protected. So I, I, would, I would trust it, throwing it on an airplane and taking off with it. <laughs> so definitely, definitely get you a good storage case, to, uh, carry case to bring with it. Another thing that I did was the, the foam's not too bad, the, the, this rubberized foam that comes on the goggles. 
But I did try and upgrade because I've seen a, a video where somebody else was talking about how much more comfortable these were. So I did do the foam upgrade and that feels a lot better on your forehead right there. It's this right here just it, it just kind of pinches down and after you get you know especially get the flywheel combo you got extra batteries you're flying 30 40 minutes this is this right here is a lot better than, than what comes with it so it wasn't very expensive of an upgrade um it's one of those that you don't really have to upgrade but this was a little nice upgrade just to feel a little bit more comfortable um with with the fly more combo i've got extra batteries then also additional i bought additional batteries after that too i just want to make sure i had plenty of flight time um i didn't want to have to wait on recharging the single battery that came with my goggles so i did get an extra battery for the goggles so i would recommend going throwing an extra battery in there for the goggles and that'll get you a little bit more runtime on that um, the motion controller i've never had it go dead um, I've had the, the goggle batteries go weak before the motion controller battery went dead. So um, I think it's also because it, I think it charges my phone a little bit off the, the goggles while I have them plugged in, uh, you know, using the DJI uh, Fly app. Uh, with the remote ID, it's required for our phones to be plugged into these goggles or it will not let you take off. Um, so it, it does kind of pull a little bit extra from that. Um, the next thing I would recommend is definitely get you some extra props. If you, you know, like I showed you earlier, these props get chewed up pretty quickly. You see the tips off of that one there. But get you a bag of extra props just so you have them ready. Um, they've even got prop cases so you can keep them, keep them from getting bent or worn out or anything like that. Uh, this little case holds four props in it. Uh, next thing I'd recommend, and this is just, just for, for optional pleasure, just it feels a little better, this rubberized grip on the motion controller. Uh, normally it's just this hard plastic here, but I got this rubber grip on it, so it feels a little better, feels a little bit nicer in the hand while you're flying and controlling there. So the rubber grip is definitely a good little improvement. Um, Next thing I'd recommend, and, and it's just kind of optional, if you're going to be taking off on a beach, you're going to be taking off in the grass where it might be wet, where it could be muddy, um, just a lot of sand on the asphalt or, or wherever you might be, I like to keep this nearby. Um, this mat opens up to a helipad. There's the orange side. And I've also got the blue side there. Um, you can see this helipad, you know, from pretty far up, but it's, it's just a nice something it kind of protects as you come in for landing. It's not going to blow sand all up into it and, and dirt. And, um, I actually had one time where a leaf came up and got right stuck to the front of the camera and I couldn't see. Um, so this will kind of help as you're coming down, nothing getting sucked up into the propellers and blown around in the camera. Um, this will give you a little protection as you land or take off. Um, and like I said, you can see it. It's, it's bright, so you can see it from pretty high up. Um, the drone itself does have a feature where it puts a little H on the ground where you took off from using GPS. Um, so you don't really have to have this to, to find your home. If you go up there and get lost, just go back towards the H. But, you know, it's nice to see this from far away and say, hey, I, I definitely know I'm going the right way. So that's a pretty good little improvement there. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, put the comments below. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I do have affiliate links to all the things that I suggested here. Um, help kind of get me a little paid for the video a little bit. Uh, not very much, but it helps out a lot for me. Um, so if you see anything that you definitely like, I definitely want to get that drone. I definitely want to get those accessories. Please use my affiliate link. Affiliate links below. Um, I'll put a link to my link tree, and it has all the links there that you can use. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.